Oh, hey. Cooking 1-5 here. I'm here with my little brother. We making tacos. Okay, for these tacos here, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to start with some some ground beef here. Now, this ain't, you know, this ain't any ground beef. I made this myself out of cow. Now, these are grass-fed cows, organic grass. And I'm in fertilizer and stuff. You're browning up real nice. Smelling pretty good. Yeah. It's cooking up real nice. Real nice like. Now you notice I'm cooking it pretty slow here. That's because I got some smoking chips going. So when I close the lid, you know, you got a little smoke action. <laughs> Maximum flavor right here. Look how red that meat is. Look how red that is. It's browning up real nice. Woo. All right. Looks like it's red. <laughs> Looking real good. <laughs> now that I started to brown the meat just a little bit, I've been cooking it real slow with the smoking chips. I'm going to add some onion. green onion and some diced chilies Ooh, look at it go Mix all that up. I'm gonna finish browning this meat, cooking this off. Plenty of smoking chips. <coughs> oh yeah, it's, it's looking real good. Looking real good. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit. A little bit of diced up tomato. Uh, I'm going to kind of zoom in there a little bit. Let you see that. See that cooking? It's good. Good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
cooking off pretty slow. Now you want to make sure to cook nice and <coughs> slow because you want them. <coughs> you want. <sighs> you want them smoking chips. Kind of smoke that meat a little bit. Okay, we get in there. Now you've probably been wondering what this other pan over here is about. This other pan for some different tacos. <laughs> we making two kinds of tacos. We making Mexican tacos. And we making what I like to call all American tacos. So I'm gonna start off with some bacon grease from an all-American taco. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take about take about half of this. I'm gonna move it over to this other pan. That's where we're gonna make, be making the all-American tacos. So in my regular taco, I'm going to have some of my special taco seasoning that I made. Kind of mix that around there. And when you're working with tacos and taco seasonings, sometimes you need to add just a little bit of water. Especially when you're working with this real lean beef like this. You don't want to just use any water. <sighs> we got some artesian water. It's been filtered through volcanic rock. Where you pick up some of them minerals. Yeah, it's good for you. Oh yeah. And then again, for my regular tacos, I'm going to use a little of my homemade taco sauce. Now, you know, this one happens to be a little bit hot. Normally, I like kind of mild, but, you know, this one's a little more hot. Ugh. Yeah. I'm going to mix that around. Ooh -wee. That smells good right there. That is smelling good. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a different spatula here because I don't, don't want to go getting all the hot sauces and things in my all-American taco meat. Now the all-American taco, i got my own little special blend here. Uh, it's got a little bit of sugar, a little salt. Um, Pepper, onion, cayenne, you know the you know the usual. But what I also got here is bacon. Black powder. <laughs> I'm not kidding, there ain't no black powder. That blow up. <laughs> Alright. We'll mix that all American around. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That is real good right there. Man, that smell good. I think I'm gonna add a little more. Hopefully I ain't too much. 
It's smelling good though. Got the bacon, a bit of garlic, Himalayan sea salt and pink salts and kosher salts, all kinds of, this is like a seven salt blend right here. All right. Check on the regular taco. It's authentic right here. All right. Yeah. Okay. See that? It's regular taco. Regular taco mix. All American mix right there. All American's got some bacon flavoring in there and everything. Right, I'm gonna move these back a little here. I'm gonna throw my tortillas on here. You know, you throw your tortillas on there, it kind of soften them up a little bit. Oh yeah, they're warming up. They're warming up. Alright, now here's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if you can see that real good. You see that good? That's my shredded lettuce. You'll notice something. It ain't iceberg lettuce. You know, anybody using iceberg lettuce, it's just cheap stuff right there. You wanna go for the good stuff. Get get your exotic salad mixes, you know, kind of lettuce there. I got the romaines and I got all the red things and everything, purple things, whatever I can find. If it's expensive, it's probably good. Oh yeah, they're warming up. And what I got, I got a couple kinds of cheeses. Now this is from my all-American taco. Now what this is, is uh, all-American blends. I got a lot of cheddar in there, a lot of Americans, white Americans, I got uh, yellow Americans. It's gonna be good. I'm eating some of that cheese right now. Now on my regular taco over here, I'm gonna use a Mexican blend of Mexican cheese. It's gonna be real good. So here we got Mexican blend or American blend. And we're going to pile that cheese on. I like a lot of cheese. Pile some lettuce on there. Now we're just going to, you know, we're going to wrap it up. to wrap it up you know here got my authentic Mexican blend my own special hot sauce and on the same thing putting some Mexican cheeses and some lettuce Yeah. 
I'm going to wrap that up. <laughs> there you have it. I'm going to try these out and see how it tastes. Tell you what, I can't make my mind up which one I like more. tacos we ate all American taco and I ate an authentic Mexican taco all American taco got my special blend of seasonings in there and bacon bacon grease and such oh, it's good which one do you like better? American. American one? Yeah. I think I like the authentic one better. American spicy. Well. You know, nobody really knows when the taco was invented. Uh, it wasn't until about 1900 that we have written record of a taco coming into America. And, um, you know, there's a lot of speculation about where it started, Mexican silver miners. Um, there's a theory about the Spanish conquistadors and stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of theories and conspiracy theories about, you know, the origins of the taco, but Really, the only thing that matters is, um, you know, about in the 1900s when America made it better. So, um, you know, we got it on up here and you see what happened was, was a lot of Mexican immigrants. It was coming up, you know, working the mines and things like that in the early 1900s, you know, 1902, 1905, you know, dates like that. And, um, well, their kids grew up. Man, kids were growing up in the 1910s, 1920s, and well, you know, they, they was living the American dream. They had money. They just start buying quality ingredients, and next thing you know, the taco evolved into something that, you know, was worth eating. So, um, you know, it's pretty good now. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but um, there you have it, folks. Tacos. One thing you don't want to remember, you notice people like to eat sour cream and different dairy kind of products and stuff with Mexican food. Because the dairy products kind of neutralize the spices in your stomach. So, I eat tacos, I like to have me a nice big glass of chocolate milk. That's disgusting. <sighs> Gross. Uh, we out of here. Chocolate milk and tacos.